Okay, today we're working on a 2010 Jeep Wrangler with 60,000 miles on it, one owner vehicle. Uh, when you start this, it's got a V6 with a 3.8. When you start it in the morning, it's got about a two second engine knock and it drove me nuts. It took me a long time to figure out how to fix it. So we're gonna show you how to fix it. This is what the engine knock sounds like every morning. Okay, hopefully you can hear that engine knock. Uh, this is going to be the first part of this video and the second part, I'm going to show you how to fix that. Okay, so to say again, the original problem with this Jeep was when you start it in the morning, it's got about a two second engine knock. Um, when you're driving it during the day, it doesn't knock at all. It's only when it sits overnight or for a long period of time The engine knocks for a couple seconds. This drove me nuts. I tried every additive on the shelf Lucas slick 50 nothing worked. I emailed Chrysler. I talked to a local machine shop I didn't want to tear the heads off of it because it's only got if the problem started around 50,000 miles It's only got 60,000 on it now um, how I found this was was on a Jeep blog some guy said to use a Mopar oil filter and I couldn't believe it that this actually works so last night I changed the oil I put 520 uh, semi synthetic oil in it with the oil filter from the dealership I let it sit overnight uh, you're gonna hear it start now, even with this, it's not 100%. Every once in a while, you will, will hear a noise, but this is a night and day difference, and I couldn't believe that this worked. And uh, here it goes. I'm going to start it up so you can hear it. Now, another thing I found was I bought these Mopar filters from the dealer. Like I said, it made a huge difference. I couldn't believe it. But then I bought some of these filters from an auto parts store, and it started knocking again. The only way that this worked for me was to buy this Mopar oil filter from the dealership. Um, I don't know if different people make them, or they're made in different parts of the country. I'm not sure or different parts of the world, whatever. All I know is this made a huge difference. Um, I really hope this helps somebody because this drove me nuts for a long time to figure this out. Uh, if you're somebody that doesn't change your own oil, it's not a big deal. Just go buy the filters, give them to the guy that changes your oil and they'll put them on for you. Um, on this oil change, I use 5W20 semi-synthetic oil but I have done this with conventional oil and it worked just the same. So you don't have to change the oil you're using, uh, just the filter. Um, I really, I really, really hope this helps somebody because this drove me nuts for like a year. Um, and that's all. Uh, Till next time.